The AC on my Escalade uh, does not work. So I went and got my gauges and put it on there and it read zero on both sides. So I realized that this high side port is an older valve and the low side is a straighter valve. So I did some research on YouTube and found out that you can change out these uh, old style valves to the newer ones. So you, you need a 16 millimeter wrench and a pair of vice grips and go ahead and hold the line still. It's connected to the 16 millimeter part and the top is just uh, twist off. If you are gonna do this, make sure that your AC system has been evacuated and there's no pressure so you don't injure yourself and don't release the refrigerant into the air. Once you get it loose, you can go ahead and twist it off. Uh, the replacement, I'll leave a link in the description of the video for the uh, part as well as the video that I originally saw this in. I think it was five, 99 i'm not sure it's not expensive um once you get it out the package you can see it has the schrader valve in there so just go ahead put it in and uh hold the bottom part still with the 16 millimeter and i, I used an adjustable to uh tighten it in all the way please don't judge me on how i use the adjustable the schrader valves in the low side are the same size as this replacement um you can just replace them there's a little tiny tool that you have to use to take those out if they're leaking and you can just screw it right back in so like i said both of those are now going to be the same size usually the high port has a a bigger size uh, valve and there you go now the high side port is a schrader valve as well as the low side after that i went ahead and put a vacuum on the system for about 30 to 45 minutes I went and got some refrigerant, uh, putting it in there. I'll let you guys know how it works out and what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content.